Hey guys and welcome to Nomadic Dmitry channel. Today we are going to do two things to this MacBook 2014. And yeah, I just love this computer. It's really, really powerful machine for most of my tasks. It's, it's good enough and it's really, really, I mean, great computer actually. I don't want to replace it otherwise. But there are two things that fundamentally wrong with it. So the first one is the battery. The battery, as you can see, as I'm gonna show you right now, uh, I have the app called Coconut Battery. The battery has 948 cycles and it's definitely not great. Great. The battery info, we can see that's almost six years. Mac OS battery status is a check battery. When your Mac displays service battery like that, it needs to be replaced or calibrated. But I think in, the, in my case, it should be replaced because I mean, it doesn't hold the charge. And the second problem that I have is that the fans are just spinning like crazy on this computer. Whatever I do, it just keeps spinning those fans. Let's start by turning off the computer, first of all, right? First, let me show you the module number of this computer. This one is MacBook Pro A1502. Guys, this is important because you need to replace with appropriate battery. This is the one I'm going to use. They even have the screwdrivers included, which is cool. And remember guys, the Apple doesn't want you to service your batteries. So for this reason, those batteries are actually glued to the chassis of the computer. So which is not great, but well, we're gonna leave with it somehow, right? Let's take off the cover of this computer. Ah, the screw gets stuck in the MagSafe port right here. How to get it out from there? All right, just a few more screws before I can take this panel off. Okay, we should be ready to take off the cover. Let's see. Yeah, it clicks like that. Oh, I forgot one more screw. <laughs> All right, next. Okay, so here we go. This is our disk drive. This is the processor. I mean, we need to replace thermo paste right here. This is the battery. This is the fan. Basically all components right here. But remember, this battery is glued to the chassis. So it's probably going to be some kind of effort to get this out of here. It's kind of dusty, right? So let's start with using this device. Duster is always a usable tool, but yeah, do not shake this one. This is like a good reminder. The first step is to disconnect the battery because we're gonna be working with the components and we need to disconnect it. Oh yeah, this is just like a warning sticker. <laughs> See how dusty this is. <laughs> right, I'm a bit scared to disconnect this connector. <laughs> All right, so I was able to remove this one. It's just like a used tool like this one, just to like push it from the sides and then you just take it out. And yeah, it looks like this, but be careful. I mean, there's so many components right here. I mean, probably should even wear gloves. I definitely should. Well, the next step I think should be removing this rubber from here. Does it like take it, takes it out like that? Oh yeah, you can take it out like this, yep. And then I need to like remove those. I need to remove those screws now. And then there'll be one more here. Yeah, this one here. And that's it. That's how we change the thermo paste. Not sure if I change the battery today because this one is more involving. Also take a look at this. This whole component doesn't fully close the CPU. So it's just like, I don't know, Apple probably don't care much, but I mean, it's not good. It's not good when it's like that, when this other open area like this. In order to reach screws, you need to like take off all those, uh, how to say, oops, where, where I lost it. Well, you need to take off those and then unscrew this. Gosh, where is it? There's also some other junk I found inside. Oh my. All right, and after I took all those off, now we need to unscrew this one, the radiator, right? But I don't have the correct screwdriver for this one. All those don't work. All right, so I'm gonna look around for the proper screwdriver for this. Well, this one is hard to get, I don't know. I might have broke the screw here. 
yeah so seems like i broke the screw right here i don't know how to detach the this thermal compartment right guys so i think at this point i should say that yeah i was unsuccessful in removing this last screw i was very close to changing this thermal paste but it seems like this time yeah i just need to assemble it back and try it over again this was a good attempt but yeah i need to prepare better thanks for watching please subscribe and see you soon I hope next time we'll be able to deal with this one. Uh, just one screw that didn't work and I completely destroyed that screw.